here we go with the final review of the Glacial Bots. This is Mega Zero. Uh, if you don't know the story behind what they were doing with this guy, uh, basically they they said that a a crane operator knocked the entire shipment of these guys into the ocean, and that they wouldn't be able to make them in time, and we wouldn't be able to get them. And then they said they found a case of them in a Korean warehouse. Warehouse, And then they said, okay, we're going to make them out in time. So basically they were making it look like if these guys came out in the 80s and then something happened and we never got them. And then all of a sudden we found a mysterious Korean version of them in a warehouse. So this guy is technically the Korean version of Mega Zero because the regular version got lost to the ocean. It was a fun little story. Uh, I was really pissed off when the first happened because I didn't know it was a joke. At first, I kind of had an idea, but wasn't sure. So I was like, I really want this guy, and now I can't get him because he's in the ocean. But kudos to them for making a little, a fun little joke. Uh, he does come in different packaging, and he does come with zero stickers applied, as opposed to the other ones that had some of the stickers applied. Uh, and the sticker sheet actually has instructions on where to put them, as opposed to the other ones, because they're literally not applied. So I put literally all of these stickers on. Um, the only ones that are paying the butt, really, are these, because they're this one's on a curved surface, and lining up this... Lining up this one's a pain in the butt, but the rest were uh, pretty straightforward. So yeah, as you can see, he is some kind of... Again, I'm not into animals. I couldn't tell you what kind of animal he is. He is some kind of prehistoric reindeer. But here is his little dude. Uh, this might be my favorite. My famous. My favorite of the mini dudes. He has a really cool visor. A uh, really cool chest. Just overall really nice looking. Um, I also had to put these stickers on. Because these weren't on. Um, he's also the tightest <clears throat> of the bunch, as you can see. He is a pain in the butt to get into his mini mode, his robotized fusion mode, if you will. So yeah, there he is. So we'll just put him to the side. We'll take a look at Mega Zero. He, is, I think his, his the, the name of the animal is something close to Mega Zero. It's like Mega Zero or something like that, and that's why they call him Mega Zero. Um, he does have a Beast Rider mode. You just slide this panel back like Fangro. You take him. Um, you really gotta lift his arms like all the way up at first, because when you seat him and you push him all the way in, which is his hands obviously come up. It's a Basically lifts his hands all the way up to get him in there. That's him seated all the way in. You don't have to seat him all the way down. But that's... Oh, man. Everything on this guy... Is really tight. Oh, my God. I legitimately can't get him out. Alright, I really had to physically force him out to get him out. That was really crazy. Um, don't put him in all the way. Put him in halfway or part of the way. Just like that. Just leave it like that. Be safe. Um, so yeah, like I said, everything on this guy is really tight. Um, I'm just going to fold him up for now. Again. Ah, super tight. Um, the only thing really that's posable on this guy, the legs are all static, although you could, for transformation, you could make him a flying reindeer. Jet mode thing. Which is really stupid. Uh, but the only thing, part of him that is posable really are his antlers. So you can actually get some kind of emotion out of him just by his antlers. You make him sad. Hang his head down. Make him attentive. Make him angry. So you actually can get some emotion out of him just by the bull joint antlers, which is pretty cool. But other than that, on to transformation. I'm going to start by ripping the head off and extending the legs out. Fold the legs all, fold the legs back, fold these arms back, fold the panel back, and take little dude, plug him in, uh, take the head, flip out the handle, and then there's a peg right here, and a hole on the other side, peg, hole, and then you plug them together, and you make a sword out of a deer head. Um, he can hold it either head on, like that, which is kind of silly because you can't slice anything unless you're on this side. Or you can just kind of hold it off on an angle and that looks okay. Not great. 
but okay. But it is very G1, you know, very 80s-ish. So it's acceptable. Um, posability, he's got elbows. Yay, elbows. And that's it. But like I said, they're G1-esque toys, so you're not really expecting much. So yeah, there he is in robot mode. So to get him into limb mode, he is in arm. Gonna unpeg the antlers, fold back the peg handle. Um, fold the arms all the way, the elbows back on that hinge. Lift the, rotate this around. Is that not flat? What's going on here? That's flat. Plug the head back on. And then um, there's a joint right here, a sliding joint, that is only there if I can get it to go. Slide that down to give it a better looking profile when combined in arm mode. So that's actually pretty cool. That That's the only reason that's there, just to make it look a little nicer in arm mode. But there he is in arm mode. And then for leg mode, if you so wish. You would just continue this, collapse this down, and actually extend it out a little bit, and that's it. It doesn't lift up anymore. That's as far as it goes, and that would be plug one the leg, plug one the feet on there, and that would be leg mode. I think it looks really crappy as a leg. <laughs> Although actually, I think his knee looks really cool as a leg. Having the, the antler head, the antler head, the deer head with the antlers, as a, you know, you can stab somebody with your knee. I like that, but I don't like how low his neck sits. And I think, like, it looks like a crappy leg otherwise, but I like the knee portion of it. But, there we go. So in the next video, we will be combining up Glacial Lord. Hopefully I can get it all in frame and everything will look good. That's going to be my next problem. But anyway, this has been the video review for Fans Project Glacial Bot Mega Zero.